Are men or women the primary victims of war? I feel like it depends on the angle you look at it because certainly more men are in the battles, but as a ter when it comes to civilians who are, well, it's just different kinds of violence are faced by each group. It's not really that one is worse than the other. It's just very different. I, well, so I what agree. If you agree? Because if you're talking about men going to war, they're going to be the primary victims. But you're talking about civilian casualties. Women are very likely, almost guaranteed to be raped if they're going to be killed by soldiers. Not well, American. Not yeah, word. don't use that well, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think it's a guarantee that I mean, it I happens. Think historically, I think it, no. yeah. Uh, I, I, well, it's not a... It's not, one, okay. it's that terrible. Was, yeah. One, it's terrible. Yeah. And two, yes, it absolutely happens. Yeah. Does it happen to every woman? No. And <laughs> I think in more modern conflicts, it's far less likely because, at okay. least amongst oh. like more, yeah, yeah, yeah. more uh, developed nations, there's there's um, protocols when it comes to um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, like war it, crimes. We, and yeah, shit. war yeah. crimes. The Geneva Convention. Geneva yeah. Convention. Yeah. Yeah. It still happens. It absolutely probably still happens. But you, yeah. what's up? Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll right. okay, okay. Uh, Gustavo, if you take her seat, we, we will try to wrap up here pretty soon. I do appreciate you coming Thank and you being so able to stay a little bit longer. Thank you. Thank Gustavo's going to take her seat. We're going to try to wrap up. I promise, guys, we're going to try to wrap up here very, very soon. Um, but so you're saying, okay, so I 100% I agree. Like, when it comes to warfare, that there is a increase, certainly an increased risk, a disproportionality when it comes to SA. Can I go too, for, oh, you got dead? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna see you on the second inning. It's a, we'll see you. We'll see you next, you uh, guys. Right. Tuesday, we got Tay Tay, and then we got we got some big stuff coming. We got some big stuff coming. Um, Gustavo, just take her seat. And guys, we we are gonna wrap up here very soon. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, but okay. Let's say, for example, like World War II. Let's let's look at World War II, right? Uh, so, okay, World War II. If I concede that, say, there were a million uh, essays during World War II, I don't know what the actual number is. Mm -hmm. um, is, that, and is that a bigger uh, all grievance? Deaths. Negative yeah. outcome. I mean, I, I don't think you can really compare, you know? I think it's just such, like, a terrible... Well, no, let's yeah, actually play a game of comparison. So let's say that there were 20 million, let's say the, the male military deaths were exclusively male and there were 20 million of them, but there were 100, or excuse me, 1 million uh, women who were essayed. Mm -hmm. Essay's a terrible thing. Which is worse? Well, I feel like you could also argue that like having to live with that trauma after that mm -hmm. happened to you and then even potentially losing male members like of your family or even maybe like your husband or something like that position could be that's true far Women worse. having to like kind of pick up the scraps of just what the mm -hmm. country's left to especially during world war ii when so many people so many men died and and women had to join the well, especially World War One, I, I would Here, say. Here, let me, Join so I'm going to, I'll just state the question again. And how about we start, we'll do different conflicts. Yeah. Let's start with World War One, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe there were 20 million military casualties, uh, maybe, I, I'm not precise in my numbers. Mm -hmm. World War Two, there were more military casualties, more civilian casualties. Both wars, absolutely catastrophic. Uh, going around the table. Were men or women the primary victims of World War I? In World War I, maybe the men, because women's rights were actually advancing at the time. I don't totally understand. Who's the men? Men. I would say men. Men. Okay. How about World War II? So well, our... Were men or women the primary victims of World War II? Are we accounting? Hold on, we're, we're just starting here. And it could be, it could be um, some of uh, Like the Japanese camps? Like, I think that was also another- Primary, so okay. Yeah, sorry. Are men or women the, pri were men or women the primary victims of World War II? Go ahead. I feel like that one might be more of an equal split. Equal split? 
Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I'll say men, and I'll like elaborate on that a little bit. I mean, as far as like violence and stuff, it's it's got to be the men. And even how you just mentioned like Japanese camps and stuff. Uh, in the Philippines, my grandma grew up she, uh, during World War Two and stuff, mm-hmm. and her father was literally beheaded. Like, right. It's just like that kind of stuff that happens. Men. Yeah, it's still the same men. Men, because. But. Because well, um, you were saying something about the camps in Japan or something. Um, that was me. Oh, yeah. oh that's I, I was. Had, yeah, I was just adding on that, and honestly, more to men suffering just because they got captured or just you know the men that were in those camps. I think that was its own kind of torture too. They were literally tortured. Yeah. yeah no. I'm, yeah. Tortured. No. One hundred percent. I'm just saying compared mm-hmm. to SA. I think yeah. certainly bad things happen mm-hmm. to yeah. uh, women civilians during war. Yeah. yeah. I, that's war not what I'm arguing. War is terrible for everybody yeah. involved. Yeah, 100 oh, percent Yeah, sorry. War is terrible for everybody involved. But, like, when if you have to pay, play the comparison game, yeah. men are overwhelmingly the primary... Uh, uh, Way less survival rate. Well, it's survival. like they, they suffer the largest amount of consequences mm-hmm. for war. So what was the point of that question? <laughs> well, I don't know. We're talking about we, patriar- <laughs> we were talking about patatriarchy. Oh, we we're talking about patriarchy podcast. and then the draft it's, it's like male Voting male privilege. She, this this uh, uh, misogynist <laughs> said that she's against women voting. voting. Yes. What a rad- freaking radical over here. Yeah. And then um, I just wish it didn't happen. You wish it didn't- Okay. That, that I would need I, to I work. Think I'm, I'm, I think I'm. Uh, I think. Work voting. at home. Yeah, I think women should vote. Would you feel differently if we were drafted also in war? Also, not trying to get canceled. Or like, if we were drafted. <laughs> Wait, but okay. What do you mean? Hold on. Let's let's do a few more conflicts here. Vietnam. Are men or women the primary victims of Vietnam? The Vietnam War. I don't know that much about the Vietnam War. Okay. I do know. A lot of civilians suffered during that as well. Mm-hmm. And sure. I do know at that time the draft was only men. And a lot of men died. And a lot of people who come back from that war say that it felt like it was all for nothing. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. So it's maybe men. OK, let's do something more recent here. Last one. Why am I the only one answering? OK, unless you guys want to do the Vietnam one, we can. Men. 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 I just, yeah. I OK, just... last one. The Ukraine war. Are men or women the primary victims of the Ukraine war? That feels like it, um, it's a bit more equal because there, everyone who is a civilian is being equally shot at. Erroneous! Erroneous! I Wait, mean, if hold you're on. talking about the people who are well, still I'm actively not, there. Not but, not hold on. <laughs> okay, but, but so let's, uh, let's just assume that that you're right that there's equality when it comes equality between um there's an equal amount of casual civilian casualties between men and women in the ukraine conflict let's assume that i actually don't think that's the case i would suspect that actually male civilians are much more likely to be dispatched uh as compared to the women i already told you that the women were allowed to leave. If you were a, a woman, you could leave the country. All the men, regard, civilian, military, you had to stay. A lot of male civilians in Ukraine have been drafted into the war. Um, but if I give you that the civilian deaths are equal between men and women in the U- Ukraine conflict, but all the military deaths, or even let's say 95% of the military deaths are men, and 5% of the military deaths are women. Is it still equal? No. Checkmate. I mean, it's not really like, if you people said, can uh, change their mind. I'm not like, oh, okay. it's not a matter of who gets like, is most right or whatever. Well, because when I asked the question, you said it's I equal. I don't know that in much Ukraine. about these wars. Oh, it's hard to make these judgment calls with right. very limited information. Sure. Um, 
Okay. Interesting. Did you guys answer on the Ukraine one? No. No. I'd say probably the men again. Men, definitely. Sure, men. Men. Yeah. Now, do you doubt the claim that I made about women being allowed to leave the country? I don't doubt it. Okay. Yeah. They were able to leave the country. Men could had to stay. Many of them got drafted into the military. Um, so, for shizzle? For shizzle. For shizzle? War always effing sucks, okay? Like, regardless, literally. So should we draft women? I think that's what that stems from. I don't know. We're well, talking about the patriarchy. Okay, last few questions on the patriarch. Um, under the patriarchy, are women oppressed? Going around the table. I think there are some things that aren't great. I don't really okay. know if there's anything exactly under the law that oh, oppresses okay. us. Sure. Wait, last thing on the military thing, because I didn't really give an actual counterpoint. Um, I'll just say this. For every single military conflict that there's ever been throughout all of human history, men have been and will be the primary victims of war in every instance. There's no military conflict that's ever occurred where women have ever been the primary victims of war. It's unfortunate, but true. Wait, you, it's un, you'd prefer 